If you've got an image in which you'd like to change the sky and you want to find out how that's done quickly in Photoshop 2021, you're in the right place. That's here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. Another of the fab new things released at Max 2020 is the new Sky Replacement Edit inside of Photoshop CC. So I'm going to go up to the Edit menu here with this image and I'm going to come down to this new option, Sky Replacement. And this dialog will open. Now you can see it's got a few small tools down the side. It's got a Sky region here and a few other controls. So at the moment, it, you can see that it's already replaced the sky here, but I can choose a different one either from this set of pre-installed skies here or down at the bottom, you'll see this plus where you can add a new file there really easily. OK, I'm going to go with what I've got here and now let's have a look at some of these controls. So you can shift the edge, which changes where the sky detection is. You can see that suddenly backed off a little bit at the bottom. I'll bring that back down to pretty much where it was. I can fade the edge. You'll see if I turn that off. OK, then the cross between the two is slightly different. You can change the brightness, of course, of the sky if you want to do that. And the temperature also. So if you want to cool it off, you can move it more to the left and warm it up more to the right. You can also change the scale of the sky image that you have there. And if you want to, you can even move that around as well. So you can just go on to the sky and move it to where you want it to be. Now, if it's in the wrong direction for you, you can simply click the flip option just here to turn that around. And then you've also got some adjustments for the foreground as well. So if you need to change the lighting in the foreground, then you can go ahead and do that and also an amount of color adjustment. Then you've got some choices here for how it's output. So output here to new layers or to duplicate the current layer and then some controls. This one allows you to move and it's the default and you saw me do that a second ago. Then you have this option here, which allows you to actually change the mask by brushing and then you've got a couple of navigation tools if you need them. Once you click OK, you'll see that your actual file here has changed and now the background has some masking on it, all powered by Adobe Sensei. And you can see even if you look into the windows here of the lighthouse and around the railings and even those very, very fine ropes, it's done an absolutely incredible job of that. So there you go. Have a play with the new Sky Replacement Edit inside of Photoshop 2021. And I'll see you here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo next time. See ya.